good morning you guys welcome to my end of year morning routine slash winter slash fall since we're coming in on the last couple few months of the year it's grind time we're not going to hold back on the grind i feel like it's most important to push the last few months of the year because it's really easy to slack off so i'm still grinding we're in our winter arc era and we're gonna push still wake up early even though it's dark outside my sunrise alarm clock helps so much with that push through the morning and get everything done so we can accomplish our goals and go into January being in a routine and everything. Anyways, I put an overnight blowout in with socks and I lost a sock. There was one like holding like my bangs up here. It's gone. I don't know where it went. I was trying to look for it in the bed, but she's lost. So I'm gonna have to find her later, but it does such a good job. Like look at that. And it would have been better if I had my bangs, you know, with it, but whatever. Um, like seriously, you could search it up on TikTok, but I literally just have these two fuzzy socks and then one more that I put like my front part up with, but I just take it, roll it under and then tie the sock and that's basically it. It's super easy. First thing I do in the morning, you guys already know, is I oil pull. I'm going to take my retainer out because I sleep with my retainer in every night still just to keep my teeth straight and I'm going to put my coconut oil in and that's like the first thing I do and then while that sits in my mouth I'm going to go make the bed but basically benefits of oil pulling is like it takes the bad bacteria out of your mouth in the morning makes your teeth whiter there's just like a lot of benefits to it you guys can search it up I'm not going to go on and on but I've been doing it now for months honestly probably like half a year now maybe even more and I've noticed a difference so just unraveled the toilet paper and she never does this like first time i've ever seen her do this <laughs> like seriously i just picked out my workout set i'm gonna change into it because i like to get out of my pajamas as soon as possible just because um in my pajamas i'm way too comfy and i will stay in them all day so if i don't change out of them they will be on my body all day so i gotta like do it quick in the morning i'm gonna change right now i like to be very go 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 in the morning because if i don't get in my workout set right away if i don't push myself to get out of bed and like actually just like keep doing things back to back i will put my butt on the couch and then once my butt is on the couch there's no coming back from that i'm just the type of person that if i don't like push myself i will not do anything there'll be some days where like i'll be waiting for joel because he does a bit of work like right when he wakes up and i'll sit on the couch because i'm waiting and that is actually the worst thing ever for me because it makes it so hard for me to physically get off that couch like i'm not even kidding you one time i actually just decided not to work out because i could not like i was just like i am done now like once i sit once i relax it's over with so i need to make sure that i am go 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 in the morning or else like i'm done for i love myself a good slow morning but not until after the gym like after i'm done my workout then i can be like okay let's like relax let's do our slow more like morning routine so this part of my morning routine is fast paced and then like the second part of my morning routine i'd say is very much slow paced so i do mix the two but at this hour, at this time, when I first wake up, it's crucial, 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 crucial that I keep going and I just don't stop. That's how I actually, you know, succeed in going to the gym this early every morning. I literally just don't make excuses. I get up and go. Like there's no, oh, am I going to work out today? Am I going to a workout class today? 
should I? No, it's already planned and I'm going. Like there is no excuses because if there's a possibility of not going, I will choose not to go. So you can't give yourself that option and you almost have to set a certain time for yourself every single morning. Even if I go to the gym and it's not like a workout class where I need to be there at a specific time, I still set a time board that I have to be at the gym so that I don't slack and so I actually like follow through with going if that makes sense. That really, really helps is like make sure you make a plan before because if you leave it all up to, oh, if I feel like it in the morning, you never will. At least for me, like with my personality type, it's it's never gonna get done in the morning. It's never gonna get done if I don't plan it before. So ready to go. I'm just going to put some deodorant on and head downstairs. I've showed you guys this deodorant before, but this is like my tried and true deodorant. It's the Eucalyptus and Mint Native Deodorant and it's natural. I have tried many many deodorants like natural ones and this one just does the best job i don't know if it's on amazon in canada yet but definitely on amazon us i'm assuming but i just get it at my local sh local shoppers um and they also have it i'm pretty sure at walmart or whatever definitely would recommend and it lasts a pretty long time like this can last a while and i think i got it for like 15 dollars. this is like the one natural deodorant that doesn't leave white marks that actually works and this is like my tried and true so would recommend workout outfit of the day shoulder shrug is from garage sports bra from lulu this is like one of my favorite styles i think it's so cute and then my biker shorts are gymshark everything is different no matching brands here i'm gonna put on my hoodie today because i'm cold it's actually been getting so cold in the mornings now because we're heading into well we're like full-on fall now kind of heading into winter so the mornings are chilly and dark not like they were in summer i can't just leave the house like this but this hoodie is from abercrombie and it's genuinely like my favorite hoodie in the world they are expensive for a reason like these hoodies are so good Oh, it feels so good. I love myself like a cozy, cozy, cozy hoodie in the winter. My lips have been getting so dry recently and I have been having to like butter them up every second. I love using the summer Fridays in the morning. Melts on my lips and I use the Laneige lip mask at night and it helps my lips so much. So the combo is great. So in the morning, a non-negotiable for me is to add either this um, Element Electrolyte Drink Mix or this Peak BT Fountain Useful Skin. I have like literally none left of these, so um, I'm going to use these, but I have been absolutely loving these. They have potassium, magnesium, sodium, and they make me feel so, so, so hydrated, especially after going in the sauna. And they taste so good that like I literally drink a whole 40 ounces of water like throughout that one and a half hours I'm at the gym or working out or whatever. So would definitely recommend for morning hydration and I just literally look forward to having one every morning. So I'm gonna put this in my water, literal non-negotiable, like I can't do without anymore because they just make me feel so hydrated and amazing. I'm actually gonna do a Pilates class today. I've been wanting to do one for so long, like a reformers one, because I have been doing Matt Pilates in the past, but reformer Pilates is just a different ball game and I've been wanting to try it. I'm really excited and also like this is the end of the year, so it's really important to like push yourself to do things out of your comfort zone and to try new workout classes. Trying new classes is so motivating. Trying new forms of exercise is so motivating. Anything to get me to be like excited to work out, I love and I think that it's so, so, so important because if you're not excited to work out, then you're not gonna be motivated and then it's like, make just makes it that much harder and miserable if you're not doing things that you like or you're not switching it up. So I just wanna kind of switch out my workout regimen a bit for the end of the year and do things that I've never tried before, try new things, go to fun classes. I'm gonna go with my sister, so I'm really excited. So yeah, I'll let you guys know how it is, but that's the plan for today and then I'm probably gonna sauna afterwards. So I'm really excited, but anyway, Anyways, okay, I gotta get going. I have my bag packed. I always use this bag when I go work out. Um, I got it from Forever 21. I always get questions on it. I got it from Forever 21 like 
three years ago or maybe not maybe like two years ago now i don't know but it's so practical and perfect for the gym and i don't think they sell it anymore because they did a collab with reebok and i'm pretty sure it's not sold anymore i just happened to like walk in the store and see it and best find ever but anyways okay i'm gonna stop yapping get our booty moving and i will let you guys know how it is to tell you guys about the sunrise alarm clock that you saw me use earlier this morning since it's now going into fall and winter i find it literally so much harder to wake up because it's darker outside and ever since i got this dream egg alarm clock it has helped me wake up early consistently it's actually been the best thing ever you guys know i've been wanting a sunrise alarm clock for some time now because i've mentioned it i am so happy i got one should have got one so much sooner because it actually makes a world of a difference this alarm clock wakes me up so cozily without any morning anxiety and it just makes me feel so calm you can easily ease into your day with it because it stimulates the sun it gradually wakes you up with a warm yellow light and either soothing sounds or you can put music and it wakes you up naturally rather than my iPhone alarm clock which literally gives me PTSD and sets my day up in a bad way they always say it's good to start off your day on a positive note and this alarm clock allows me to do that what I love as well is you can not only use it in the morning time but you can also use it for your evening routine you could play some white noise to help you fall asleep and also a variety of nightlight colors that you could choose from it also has a red light which I've been loving to use at nighttime because red light is really really good to help you fall asleep this is honestly more than just an alarm clock I see it more as like a holistic mental well-being tool that can help you in your mental well-being journey relaxation journey and also just like if you want to start up a new good routine waking up early it just allows me to start my day and wake up with a clear-headed mind so yeah if you guys are interested in investing in your mornings and your evenings relaxation i would definitely suggest checking them out i will have their link in my description box so go check them out and we can all wake up with peace and serenity together hey guys i just got back honestly pilates class was really fun it was like a free first intro class i feel like we didn't go as hard as you would like in a normal pilates class but it was really good and i love low impact workouts i think that they're so good and they're almost just or even more effective than like high impact workouts for certain times of the month it's like super super good to do that rather than like high intensity workouts or high impact so i'm definitely going to continue going maybe once a week maybe twice a week we'll see and like buy a membership but I f it felt really good trying something new and now i'm actually like excited and on the way home i picked up joel's gym and so i went to the sauna i absolutely love saunaing <laughs> saunaing in the morning it just literally makes me feel like on cloud nine afterwards starting my day it just feels so good to like sweat those toxins out in the morning and then go about your day but i do feel gross right now like my hair is disgusting it makes you feel like sweaty but also feeling really sweaty is so rewarding because you're like now I get to shower, put on clean clothes, and it's just such a good feeling. I don't know how to describe it, but it's really good for you to sweat. Like, it, you release toxins, good for your skin health. I don't know. There's just, like, so many benefits to um, going in the sauna and sweating. So I want to make sure to at least incorporate that, like, three to four times a week. And I do because there's a sauna at our gym. Kawadi's place was super aesthetic as well. Like, it was so cute in there. I was vibing out. Like, I'm a Pilates girl. I can just see it now. I'm a Pilates girl. So 
I'm gonna wash my hair. Um, I wasn't planning on it, but it just feels disgusting now from sweating. And that's the only thing is like, please tell me I'm not alone on this. Working out and sweating, it like ruins your hair routine. I could sleek it back for, you know, today in a few days, but I hate sleeking my hair back. I don't know why, but I'll do it once. And then after that, my head hurts and I can't. Like, it's just not the ideal hairstyle for me. I'd much rather do anything else than sleek my hair back but sometimes it's just necessary and i don't know i just think i'm just gonna wash it today though because i'd rather just have clean hair i hate going to bed with dirty hair it just makes oh i hate it i hate it so i've been making a point to like wash my hair more often i used to wash it like once a week but like now since i sweat every day and going in the sauna and i'm just like so active i feel like i need to wash it minimum twice a week so i'm gonna wash it right now have some clean fresh hair to start the day so yeah gonna shower and then we'll make breakfast So I've recently been making this breakfast and it's so good. You guys just saw how I made it. It's super easy, which is what I love. Doesn't make a lot of dishes, high protein and tastes really, really yummy. So yeah, would recommend. I love a good quick, easy breakfast as you guys know, cause I hate like making a bunch of dishes in the morning. They're literally just rice cakes I got at the grocery store and the only ingredient is like rice literally. And they're like rice puffs and then the egg on top. And this is two eggs. So I'm so excited to eat this. latte i've been loving a hot latte to get me in the like winter fall spirit i don't like drinking coffee until after i eat so that's why i'm making it now and i'm gonna go sip my coffee while i write my to-do list for the day and check my emails basically and just kind of plan out what i'm gonna do today <music> Okay, so this has been my daily agenda recently. I go back and forth between wanting to use paper and wanting to write it out on the computer, but recently I've just been using Notion for my to-do list for the day. I haven't been in my paper to-do list era. It literally switches all the time. So take this with a grain of salt because it might change tomorrow or next week, but this is what I've been doing um, for the past couple weeks is I've been just writing it out on Notion and then checking things off when I complete them. And I love doing this with my coffee. It just sets the mood for the day. And then I have a clear path to follow for the day since I work for myself. So if I don't write down what I have to do, things could get all jumbled. So now that I did this, I feel so much better and I can like actually start to do um, what I need to do today. <laughs>
with you guys so that ends off the morning routine i just got dressed into something comfy because it just makes me feel more productive to be put together i at least make an effort to put myself together every day since like i'm not forced to since i work from home it makes me feel a lot better putting some effort into getting ready because then it motivates me to actually get stuff done do work etc because it could be so easy working from home to just like not get ready every day and fall into bad habits so i just want to make sure that i am at least putting myself together every day because it does make me more productive i just put this cozy sweater on and i have a lot of editing due today to check off my to-do list so i'm gonna be sat here for a while editing but i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this morning routine I'm really excited to push through this these last few months of the year and grind it we're in our winter arc era we're gonna stick to our routines and not fall off the bandwagon and i hope i can motivate you guys to stay on top of things so make sure to subscribe if this video motivated you because i'm gonna be making so many motivational productive content in the future and basically all my videos for the last half of the year is gonna be motivation based because this is the time of year where i feel like you need it the most so yeah let me know any video recommendations that you guys want to see down below i can't wait to keep making the productive content for this time of year so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video